What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica modded with the automation update. So we are back. We're doing the things to do this up today. We are going to hopefully get a base going here. Uh, we got to start off with building our fancy like habitat tool. But once we get that built, we will be good. So uh, we need to figure out what we need for that. I think it's microchip, uh, microchip wiring kit. And what else? What was the other thing? A battery. OK, so our computer chip wiring kit and a battery. So what we need for that is we need some silver. We need some gold and some copper wire and some table coral. All right. So let's see if I can't store. Oh, we've got these big, huge seeds everywhere. OK, we're going to have to we're going to have to be careful here. We're going to have to utilize our space carefully, but um, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody who watched the first episode. And yes, whole fish have been in the game since the beginning. I'm sorry. I just didn't really pay attention to them. OK, I just remember like you had the Titan whole fish and that was like kind of a big thing and Subnautica below zero. And I didn't even think about the little. So I'm sorry. OK, I'm sorry. All right. Now we can move on from that. I do apologize. But um, thank you all so much for uh, for commenting and letting me know. Um, Let's go grab. Let's start off with trying to grab some silver. Uh, we have gold, so we should be good there. We need silver and copper. Honestly, it's probably the two things that we're going to need. And then this is this the right way. Oh, this is another area. Uh, let's see how this goes. This is the other red seaweed area. Not exactly what I was looking for. Oh, sea moth. Is that Seamoth piece? Ha ha! Yes. Biter, don't get me. Don't get me. Don't get me. Oh, you were trying. Get out of here. Get out of here, you infected biter. I don't want you. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? This is the cave entrance, isn't it? Isn't there a cave entrance? Right? Yes, there is. Scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters leading to an unknown environmental biome. Okay. Yeah, I don't, you know, as much as I want to go down there right now, <laughs> I don't. I do not. Okay, there's one silver. We have... We might actually have the copper back at the base, too. I'm not 100% sure. There's our silver. Okay. I need copper. Come on. All right, so we got a little bit of copper. Okay, I think we're good. I think we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and let's go get our habitat builder uh, built. And then let's start focusing on a little bit of a base here. Get some basic things going. And then we'll see what we need or what we can do with any of the modded stuff. Because, I, you know, this, this is a modded series. We got to get into the modded stuff. Okay, I think I have gold in here. Um, and then we have table coral in here as well. Let me swap that with that that with that maybe is that gonna be enough let's find out okay copper wire wiring kit computer chip uh is that everything hey all right oh we're good we're good capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions all right, let's see what we got here. Um, okay, so I'm trying to look through. I'm trying to find some of these modded pieces here. So it looks like we're definitely going to need some kits and things like that. You know, I think we're going to have to. We're going to have to make a trip over to the fabrication place because I don't think we can make any of these without the kits. Like we need a kit for basically all of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need a kit for basically everything. Okay. Um, all right, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's go ahead. Now, let's see, what do I have as far as inventory wise? I have two, <laughs> two titanium and a lead. We're going to need, where's my, this guy. No, hey, eh, stop, get, hey, 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 stop it. Bad, bad sharky face. Okay, so for us to get a foundation, I think it's what, two lead and a titanium or two lead, two titanium for a foundation. And then it's gonna be six for the multi-purpose room. 
All right, let's just go ahead and grab all the titanium that we have. Well, actually, you know what? Let's grab another piece of lead real quick. Actually, let's grab these two as well. We'll get a couple. We'll get two foundations placed. All right. Now, I want to try to figure out how we want to do this because we could do some stuff above water and we could do some stuff below water. I'm thinking we might do a little bit of both. Get out of here. And then where are we in location of this? Okay. We're also going to need enough room for a moon pool and all that stuff. So, you know what? Maybe right in here. I think I may be right in here somewhere. Because then this would be deep enough. We should be able to get the Cyclops in here if needed. All right, let's see if we can do this. So if I grab this and I want this. Oh, that's right. It's got to be so it's got to be a certain distance from from the surface. Okay, hold on. There's actually there's actually a spot right here. Let's check this out. Okay, I think this will work. I think this will be a good spot right here. We'll, uh, we'll hook up to here, and it'll come out, and then we can have our underwater stuff like right over here in this area, and then we'll have, yeah, this will work, this will work, this will work, okay. Let's start off by getting our first foundation. Um, I want this above the water. Um, so let's go with, maybe like that. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have that one, uh, we got to do this kind of in stages here. I need more titanium. So let's go grab more titanium and then wait, where's my this way? Yeah, we need more titanium because we need to go ahead and we need to get the uh, we need to get our first habitat built. So that way we can start connecting things up. Because if things don't connect up right, we're not going to be we're not going to have a good time. All right, so I got a decent amount of titanium. Let's go ahead. Oh, shoot. That's it right there. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I don't even know where this base is at. Uh, where is that in relation to? Oh, so it's kind of behind. All right, that'll be good. I think this will be a good spot. Okay, so now what I want to do. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. Bad. Oh, you can't really hit these things, can you? Did I kill him? No. Oh! Is there another one? No, just the one. Okay, he ran away. So I'm trying to figure out the fastest way to get over to a deep area. You know what? I don't think it's gonna matter. I think once we get the uh, once we get this first stuff built, we should be good. Alright, so we want to get ourselves a multi-purpose room basically like this but then we need to make sure that we can attach it out and down into another into another multi-purpose room if that makes sense so um let's go ahead so we'll get that one And then we need a ladder. And then we need another hallway. And then we need another multi-purpose room. Perf, oh. Okay, see that's not quite underwater enough. So let's actually, let's actually go down one more. All right, there we go. Now that's more underwater. I didn't want it like floating halfway above the water because then it's like when you're in the room, you can see like the top of the water surface is kind of weird and uh, annoying, but that should work fantastically. Um, I don't have anything for a hatch, which is kind of unfortunate. So we can't actually even get in there right now, but that is kind of like the rough idea there. Um, now we can unhook this stuff. If, so if I don't want this multi-purpose room here, we can unhook it because it's within this like grid pattern of this one. So everything should hook up just fine. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and get some stuff. Let's get a... We need more titanium. Let's go get... In, let's just go get more titanium. We also need a hatch. So we'll try to get that as well. Oh! We've got a... We got a critical state on the drive core of the, the Aurora. Now, I did see a comment, actually about listening to the explosion underwater instead of watching it above water i think we're actually gonna try that um i've never done it i always watch it from above the surface you know and i've, I've seen it so many times and i think everybody else has seen it so many times we're gonna check it out under the water and see what it sounds like under the water see how uh, amazing it sounds and we're back okay so let's throw on our hatch we're actually gonna throw that onto We'll throw that on it right here because I don't know how I'm going to build off of this right now. And then I do want to get a foundation like right here somewhere like perfect. Oh my gosh, it's like perfect. So we can have some out like underwater stuff growing. Um, okay, and then do we have stuff for a solar panel? We do. Okay, cool. I'd like to get that up there actually, but we got to get something built just to get power on here. Ooh, we're actually gonna need um, another hatch for the outside one. Get out of here. Oh, oh, shoot. And we're gonna need a ladder. Uh, ladder. Perfect. And then can we get another hatch? Wonderful. Oh, we've done it. Look at that. We've got an above area, above water area, and we have a below water area. Heck yes. Now, I'm actually kind of curious. Can we put the interior grow bed? Interior grow bed? Oh my gosh. Interior grow bed um, outside? If it's above water? Oh, suitable for use on land or underwater. So we could use the exterior grow bed underwater or above. Oh. Neato. Okay, perfect. Uh, we don't have enough for another. No, we don't. Okay, darn. So I was kind of hoping to put the solar panel up here, but that's fine. Because we're going to end up putting probably like this solar cluster. Um, a bunch of that stuff's going to go above water here. Okay. Now, um, interior modules. We should probably go ahead and get the marble melons planted. Because that's going to be a main source of food and water for a while. And, of course, I don't have any marble melons. So, you know what? We'll plant. We'll just plant those for now. And then we'll go grab our marble melon and come back. And we'll probably get another grow bed in here, too. Um, You know what? We need the beacon. <laughs> I need to scan the beacon <laughs> so we know where our home is at. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab some of this, uh, some of the salt right here. We can make some bleach water. Oh no, we lost our battery. Is this mobile vehicle bay fragment? Heck yeah. Okay. I'm um, not worried about building a vehicle right now. You know what? Let's do this. Let's swap this out real fast. Unload the battery. Uh, wait, what? Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. It won't let me unload that battery. Is advised. Oh, unload battery. Okay, sorry. There we go. Yeah, it wants me to do a self scan. Hold on. We got to wait on the. Just give me a second before we self scan. Oh, there's a beacon fragment right there. I need you. I need to know where my home is at. Oh, one of two. I well, I got a fluid intake, right? There. No. Ah. Hey. Vibe Look at that little guy. Stabilizing. There's a reef back just flying along. Another beacon over here anywhere? Sea glide. You know what? Oh, I'm a little hot. Okay, hold on. And we need oxygen. Golly, everything's just everything's happening all at once here. 
Okay, I don't see another beacon fragment over here. Let's see if we can figure out where the heck. Sea glide, isn't it? Yeah, I don't need a sea glide. I saw another beacon fragment and I didn't scan it and I was like, oh, I should scan that, but I didn't. This is down here. Hey, there you are. Get over here, you sneaky beacon. Uh, graph trap. Anything else? Another beacon fragment. All right. Um, I know I need copper for a beacon. How far away is that place? It's 320 down. Hmm. I'm curious if we should check it out. All right, so we got our beacon made. Wonderful. Now, I want to grab some more titanium real quick. We're going to go set up a couple more things, and then... I think we need to make a trip over there. I mean, it's probably a certain death. But I mean, it might not be. It might not be certain death. It might be like suggested death. All right, you know what? Let's put this beacon up at our house first, which is over here. Oh, you know what? That's kind of like, oh yeah, that's Reaper Leviathan territory, isn't it? I'm almost positive it is. Oh, I don't know that we should go over there without a Seamoth. I'm really thinking that maybe we shouldn't go over there without a Seamoth. All right, let's get another interior grow bed real fast. And then marble melon. Oh, that's actually a full marble melon. So we can go ahead and cut that up and then plant that bad boy. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to be like our food, our source of like food and water until we get like a purification thing going. And I don't really have anything else. Oh, do we make our way over there? You know what? I think we focus. Let, let's focus on getting the base built first. Let's focus on getting all of our stuff built over here so that we can start utilizing this area as our, uh, our full area. Um, you know what? We also need storages. So we've got wall lockers. Okay, so we do have the, the full size lockers. I believe... Yeah, so eventually we're going to swap over to these data server racks, but that's going to be like a thing that we're going to have. It's going to take a little bit to do that. So let's get some uh, some storage lockers built. And a fabricator. Let's get a fabricator right now. Let's do that. Since we have the stuff, all we need is the table coral, which is probably maybe right here somewhere. Okay, maybe not right here somewhere. Maybe over here somewhere. Hey, here we go. Oh, we never put the beacon out. We need to put our beacon out. Beacon drop. Name beacon. I'm going to get eaten. Home. Okay. All right. That looks good. Let's grab a fabricator. Put that in here. Do I have any water? I have a water. Fantastic. I don't have any food yet, though. That's okay. Okay, so we've got that. Now, uh, let's focus on getting some wall lockers. Quartz and two titanium per deal. Okay, let's let's get let's make that happen. Pretty sure there's a bunch of quartz in this area. Just kind of a pain to find it since there's all this, all this fluffy grass everywhere. Oh! Emergency. A quantum detonation oh! Has occurred in the Where is it? Drive call. 
Okay. That sounds pretty cool. Can't really see anything though. Can you see anything? Oh! That was cool! There was like an underwater shockwave. That's pretty neato. That was pretty cool. Thank you for the comment recommendation. Is this salt or quartz? That's salt. Okay, so now we have a radiation suit that we're going to have to build uh, probably sooner rather than later. And I do need to eat something. Let's find ourselves a snack here. Come here, peepers. All right, we got a snack. I don't think I got any quartz. I got one quartz. That's okay. That allows us to build one thing right now, and then we can focus on getting more of them, too. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, so let's get our peeper cooked up. Probably going to need two of those. While disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, mm. thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Delicious. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, so let's get ourselves some storage here. So we have at least one, and we're gonna put it this way. I always put these lengthwise. And I don't think I have enough for another one. Nope. Okay. But now we can start depositing stuff in here that we don't necessarily need. Like dead batteries. Silver salt. Probably don't need the lead. Actually, we'll just leave all this in here. All right. I'm going to go out and grab a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, I want to build more storages. And what do we need for our lead suit? Fiber mesh and lead. That's it? We have the two lead. We just need fiber mesh. You know what? Let's go ahead and get that made right now. I don't want that to become an issue. Hey, get out of here. Uh, we need, <laughs> need to make a medical thing too. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, let's grab those. This there. Fiber mesh. Fiber mesh. And radiation suit. So we'll put on the full suit except for the mask because we need the rebreather. So that's gonna give us everything except for the mask, which I'm just gonna throw that into storage for now. Perfect, okay. So we should be good for a little bit. Let's go see if we can get some quartz while it's nighttime. Quartz is easy to, s to see at night because it like reflects. See, look at that. It stands out like a soul thumb. I love it. Aha, yes. It's just like, I love how it's highlighted at night. Um, you know what? We're over here by this wreck. I know we're gonna need these fragments anyway, so let's grab them. I've got a lot of quartz now. Well, I say a lot, but in the in the grand scheme, it's not really that much. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and let's transfer. Uh, hold on, let me swap my. There we go. I don't want to drain the battery on that thing. Let's make our uh, some titanium. Let's get some more storage in here. And yeah, we need to make probably the radio. We probably need to make the uh, medical thing fabricator deal. But let's go ahead and let's get started with wall lockers here. There's a second one. See, I love how those two, I love how those line up like that. Oh, it's such a good job. I don't know if this one's going to go in here because of this uh, planter. It's not. That's fine. We'll set this one like right here somewhere.
All right, good enough. So now we've got a bunch of quartz. We got some titanium in here. Fantastic. Okay. So uh, the base is a go. These are still growing. Uh, those are going to be turned into more food immediately. Um, I think these potatoes are probably going to get tore out of here. That's okay. Um, but let's see what else we need here. We definitely need... I think we need to get the radio in here. Uh, the medical fabricator kit would be nice. How is my battery looking here? 27%. Ugh. You know, there is a battery charger. I think. I think there's a battery charger in here. Universal charger holds up to 10 power cells and 10 batteries recharges when basis uh, power is plentiful. Oh, I really would like to get that going, but we need to... Um, like I said, I think we're going to need... Well, you know what? The the depth of the Seamoth by itself isn't even 320 meters. Like, we would have to... We it, I think it's only 200, so we'd have to go down another 120. We might just have to swim there. I wonder if that's underwater. Or I wonder if there's air there. I'm so curious. Uh, That's, like, not in a... That's not a good area. It's really not a good area. I feel like we definitely are going to have to make a trip over there, though. All right. You know what? Let's do this. Let's see if we... Yeah, let's get the mobile vehicle bay unlocked. Um, We're going to have to make a trip over there. Yep. Next episode, we're going to swim over there. We're going to do the swimming. We're going to we're gonna take the, the, the yield sea glide. And we're going to hope for the best. So let's see if we can't find maybe the mobile vehicle bay fragments. And maybe our Seamoth fragments right now. Just to get those like unlocked. But I don't really want to take the Seamoth over there. Because I don't want to get destroyed. What is that? Laser cutter fragment? Heck yeah. We're going to need that. We also need to prepare to go into the Aurora too. Because we don't if we don't get that radiation leak fixed. We're going to have a bad time. There's scanner room fragment number two. Oh look at scanner room fragment number three. Okay, all right. Guess we could build the scanner room too. We also need to get a drill going because a drill would save us from having to go out and get these resources manually all the time. Even like if it just basic ones like uh, copper and titanium, that would be super nice. All right, mobile vehicle bay. I need one sea glide. I need one more fragment. And this battery is about dead as well. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So there was a Seamoth piece down in here. So let's see if we can maybe find the rest of the Seamoth pieces down here. Okay. We got a big wreck here. I can see a Seamoth piece there. Hopefully we can find everything we need here. Bar table. Hey, you know what? That might be the most important thing. You need a place to put your drinks, you know? Seamoth piece. That's a scanner room fragment right there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, bioreactor fragment. Oh, that could actually be pretty handy. Seamoth fragment. Two of three. Here's another bioreactor fragment. That'll actually be pretty handy. Because, like I said, the lantern fruit, uh, basically, it's just infinite biofuel source. It's not the best, but it literally grows on a tree, so <laughs> you can't complain too much. Oh, there's nothing even in there. Oh, oh, bioreactor fragment, darn it. I thought that was a Seamoth piece. Oh, hold on. Hello there, life pod. Life pod number you. Life pod six. Integrating new PDA data. Some flares. And what do we have here? Open data box. Don't be titanium, darn it. What is this? 
scanner room fragment. We already have that, but hey, titanium. All right, we got to go get oxygen. We're going to have to swap out our scanner tool battery. Uh, no, we can't swap out the scanner tool battery. We're going to have to swap out the habitat builder battery. Let's just do that right now. All right, let's go down here. We've got to get our last pieces down here. We've got to. Okay, I don't, I don't actually see a... Uh, I don't actually see a... Uh, Ooh, hello, spiky plants of death. Bioreactor. No, 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 no. Ow, I, I swam right into that. I swam right into that one. It's like I saw it coming in slow motion. And I was like, I'm going to catch you. Metal salvage. Come on. Where is our... Where's our sea moth? Oh, hello. Hold on. Okay, before we go in here, we got it. We got to go to oxygen first. This thing is so much slower than it used to be. This thing used to be so fast. Like it would, jet, it would jet you up to the surface at like, I don't know, super fast speed. Do I have any water on me? Tell me I have a water. I don't have a water. Okay. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna get through this quick. All right, what do we have? Anything good? What the heck? What's with the spooky music? Okay, I don't like this. We need to cut through there. Why is it so spooky? I have no idea. I don't know why it decided it needed to be a horror game right there, but it, it absolutely was. We're, we're swimming back. Just in case that was, I don't see, I didn't hear or see any reapers. Don't care, leaving. Okay, we're back in the life pod. That's good. I don't know what the deal is with that super spooky music, but uh, we need some water. So I want to grab some water and make sure that we don't die here. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's grab another one of those med kits. Uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and try bringing all this stuff back with us to our new home. I think we're going to have to go ahead and make some new, uh, some more batteries as well. Because we're going to have a swim ahead of us tomorrow. Oh, man. I already have the, I have the feeling that we're going to try to swim over there and we're going to get eaten. I, I think a Reaper Leviathan is going to have a snack on us. But I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, thank you. Glad to be aboard. All right, everything's good. And that is gonna end this episode. I know, I know, it's exciting. We got a base built, we got a base started. It's not built, it's gonna be much bigger than this once we get things going. But like I said, I want to get like some kind of base operation thing down. I want to get some food going here. Actually, speaking of food, I forgot how hard these things are to hit. Come on, there we go. Uh, we got some food growing, so we'll be good on foods and then like I said, next episode, I think we are, we're going to just take a swim wherever we're going to take a swim over there. It's probably a terrible idea, but we're going to see, we're going to head over there, kind of see what's going on, see what, it, what things are. Um, and then we should hopefully get an idea of how, like what kind of things cost what, like what this kit costs and like what these things cost. So I don't really know how that's going to work, but we're going to find out in the next episode, but thank you so much for coming back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.